So here's the man himself, you know what, consummate petrol head. Well, a very good afternoon from Jordan. I'm in a man, I've got a day off down here, and, uh, and why not? We're at the uh, Royal Automobile Museum. You can see uh, one of the Mars rovers uh, used in the, uh, the film The Martian with Matt Damon. That's a surprise, it was filmed down in Wadi Rum. The Royal Automobile Museum was uh, built by uh, King Abdullah II in celebration uh, of his father. Uh, King Hussein passed away in 1999, but he was the ultimate petrol head. King Hussein was a, a pilot, he was a racing driver, he was even a radio amateur. A lot of people don't know that as a fellow radio ham. So I'm going to have a little look around. Um, hey, who knows what we're going to see? I believe there's about 70 cars in here. Uh, they rotate a further 20 uh, through, but Photographs would suggest that in the 16th, uh, King Hussein had uh, 300 SL, he had Ferraris. Um, so you know what, he's my kind of guy, and if you've got the pockets to match it, well, hey, why not? They don't have an official um, website here, um, so that's uh, quite unusual. So maybe um, this uh, little video can go out for people that are interested in seeing the collection, maybe firsthand. And if you can't make it, well, hope you enjoy it. Uh, we'll uh, step inside and uh, we'll see what it's all about. I'm Ed, uh, this is a backroad hero. So here's the man himself. Quick look round. Um, there's, a, there's a Tatra. Um, I wouldn't smoke too close to it <laughs> if I were you. Uh, some crazy Rolls Royce. Um, replica built on a 15, 1915 chassis. Look at that, bit of armour plating all, uh, all round. Glorious thing, and then uh, quite obviously something, something that uh, looks straight out of Star Wars. Something out of Star Wars, it is. It's the Star Wars speeder from Rise of uh, Skywalker in 2019, and of course probably shot in the desert around here as well, a bit like uh, the Martian. The movie was filmed in the scene in the scenic Jordanian desert of Wadi Rum, uh, Disney production. So there you go. It is. It's uh, one of the one of the speeders. I have to look out for that in the movie now. Getting into the main room now. Look at that glorious thing. A uh, Humber Super Stamp. Um, obviously, a presidential car. So the king, he loved uh, he loved British cars, but he also loved American cars. There you go. Presidential Lincoln. 1952. That's uh, that's before he was born. So that would have been Abdullah the First. I think he had he had a Rover as one of his early cars. He got fed up with it fairly quick. There you go. <laughs> hey, King Hussein's first car. 300 SC. Lovely. On the Mercedes. He was a big fan of the Mercs then. I think they've formed most of the presidential cars actually over the years. Yeah. 300D. They're going to gain up. You know, put some decent horsepower in it. <laughs> maybe, maybe he liked the frugality of it. Eh? 36 cord. One of the craziest looking front ends of anything. Beautiful. You could just imagine that slammed and on air. <laughs> 75 caddy. Look at another Merc. 300 SEL. That's a nice car. Oh, it's the 6.3. Look at that. <laughs> we, th we think this one's heavily armed, or armoured. <laughs> looking, looking at the fuzziness in the, in the windows. 
it's definitely and the way it's the way it's uh, hunched down at the rear <laughs> i tell you what that, that glass must be three inches thick <laughs> you come out with your eyes all squiffy <laughs> oh dear the shadow more shadows just looking for the uh, just looking for the machine guns <laughs> That's, that's one, one seriously armor plated car, you know. <laughs> you get about four miles to the gallon out of it. <laughs> there you go, Pope Mobile. Oh no, <laughs> that's, may as well be. Yeah, so not built for a king, built for a Pope. Pope Francis visit here uh, in uh, 2014 to be precise. Look at that, nice and comfy. Straight out of Ikea. That's the big daddy here. 300 Pullman. Don't know quite what defines a Pullman. Is it a, is it, is it the design? Is it, they had partition glass? I don't know. If you know folks what defines a Pullman, let me know. Stick it in the old comments. Convertible marks, not just for, not just for Chelsea. <laughs> Hey, G Wagon, GE 1987. There you go. Desert Brown, I presume. <laughs> matching, see this, matching color coded fuel tank. <laughs> Another one, G 597. You know what? Imagine the fun in the desert in one of those. <laughs> that little monkey bikes and lots of early photographs. And there's the boys. So into the second room. And looks like he was equally happy with motorcycles and the cars. Look at that. Ford. <laughs> so, so this is something you don't see very often. Motorcycle sidecar and a trailer. <laughs> Look at that, pretty little thing. Some nice colours. Really well presented. Looks like a little street scene. Some more Harleys. Obviously a Harley man. 1926. And a 28 P-shooter. More presidential rollers. Good Lord, I mean, this is, you don't even need to be a car person to appreciate this. It's the sheer opulence of it all. And there you go, 450 SEL, 6.9. One of the kind of ultimate classic Mercedes. And of ultimate classic Mercedes, ultimate uh, BMW supercars. The uh, iconic M1, 286 horsepower. Um, Engines followed into the MC 635 CSI, um, ultra rare, 1979. Right, well, I've just had to delete my expletive. <laughs> <There's> <laughs> crazy, crazy number of bikes and cars in here. Um, obviously some sort of Mercedes Roadster, but Carrera GT, I can see a BMW Z1 in that gorgeous green down there. Uh, Mercedes SL, Roadster. Um, yes, sir, I am impressed with your taste in automobiles, and more importantly, bikes. I'm a biker at heart. Indians. What on earth is that? It is a Lamborghini. Reventon. I can't say I've ever seen one of those before in my entire life. <laughs> and if that wasn't crazy enough. And there she is, the movie bike from Tron. 175 SLR McLaren, Sterling Moss. Um, to be invited to buy one, you already needed to be an SLR McLaren owner. <laughs> Carbon fiber bodywork. Um, I think helmet with visor not included. <laughs> You'd be, you'd be picking out flies from your teeth. 
<laughs> for a long time after that. And if that wasn't quick enough, there you go. A Harley drag bike, complete with wheelie bars. Carrera GT. That classic Porsche Silver. What's the Carrera GT is nice. There you go. 964 flat nodes, turbo S. Um, the 3.6, the fabled 3.6. So this is kind of like the bad boys car, dialed up to 11. Split rim polished alloys, dark blue, gray. Looks like it's a kind of a wood trim. This is, this is all Porsche exclusive program. I used to have a, a Porsche, an exclusive uh, 911 Carrera Super Sport. And he did like his, he did like his flat nose. There it is, another flat nose, uh, 930 turbo from 87. Uh, not quite uh, the turbo LE spec, but uh, vented rear arches. I had those in my Super Sport. Um, and of course the sills being a little bit different. Left hand drive, black on black. With the Fouche alloys. I'm not sure which one of these three I would take. If I had all the money in the world, it would be this 3.6 turbo. Forget the Carrera GT. The 3.6 is rare enough, but to have one through the exclusive program with the flat nose and the pop-up lights from the, the kind of 968 of the era. Um, there's the Lotus Turbo Esprit, not Esprit Turbos back in the days. Little Z1, always fancy one of those based on the mecha mechanicals, the, uh, the 325, the E30s. Um, and again, contrasting green and cream. So here we have the uh, the Ferrari section. Now I believe King Hussein had others, obviously back in the day, but some go, some come along. But uh, this F50 Spider, it was one of the last cars used by the King himself uh, before he passed away. Um, the F40 is still glorious, worth all the money. I can see why people get excited by them. For me, I'd settle for a a Testarossa in white, but you know what? You're giving one of these away. <laughs> I wouldn't, I wouldn't say no. So, another view from the other end of the hall. Quite stunning. You know what? If you're going to do the Jordanian flag, <laughs> that, uh, that is the way to do it. Look at that, right down into the right down into the panniers. The chrome was actually hurting my eyes at this point. <laughs> there you go. The ultimate whales for the king. <laughs> you know what? It's, uh, <laughs> it is kind of cool. <laughs> now what's that, the old, uh, the old alligator skin, crocodile skin seat. The sissy bar. <laughs> I'm liking this man more and more. There it is. Mercedes Cosworth Evolution. Evo 2, in fact. You can tell from the uh, from the arch extensions here leading into the door. And a big wing. Obviously, to compete with BMW and the DTM back in the day. Increase from 2.3 to 2.5 liters, but well, I tell you what, that's a that's a really really nice machine. So let's go Cosworth Mantis, and uh, obviously the support car, E36 wagon. <laughs> Fun in the desert. <laughs> Ever wondered how to shoot your track action in the 80s? <laughs> there you go, <laughs> all by sharp. <laughs> you can even adjust the angle. <laughs> we, we take it so for granted these days. The famous disappearing door trick. The Z1, probably Oxford green. Cream leather. Based on the 325i E30, most of the running gear. We're getting getting fairly valuable these days. So this has to be the ultimate Kitty Prince toy. Um, it looks like a kind of a half scale uh, Series 1 Land Rover. 
complete with kind of uh, desert Bedouin tent arrangement. The ultimate in kiddie toys. <laughs> complete with gated manual, gearbox. Lord knows what's in it, but it's, uh, it's probably, probably golf cart. <laughs> it's absolutely glorious. I have to say, it's beautiful. Again, from the comfort of the Bedouin tent. And this isn't all the cars in the collection. They rotate a further 20 through just to keep it interesting. But all the main players are here. So there you have it. The uh, Jordanian Royal Auto Museum. Fantastic collection of not only bikes but cars. But you know what? If you've got a couple of hours to spend in a man, well worth it. Um, the two of us got in here for about 12 quid, so they're, they're not charging through the nose. And uh, where else would you see a collection like this? Where else? It's just, well, it goes to show that uh, the late King Hussein was an absolute petrol head. Much respect, sir. It's, it's lovely to experience these things. I suppose back in era, you would have never seen um, any of this. Um, and thank you to uh, King Abdullah II for actually building this uh, in celebration of his father and his father's automotive journey. You can really get a flavor of what uh, King Hussein was really like. And I'm sure uh, King Abdullah would, uh, uh, it will add to this um, as a petrol head himself. So that's it from a man. Um, if you've liked this, do the old likey likey. Um, there's a playlist as well. I'll put it up above um, of other museums I've been to as well. Sort of little days out and day trips, some vlog styles and some things a little bit different, but uh, all petrol related. So until the next time, all the best now. Bye bye.